Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. The government will be issuing a tender soon to hire a consultant to help formulate the National Human Rights Action Plan. While you're at it, maybe you can hire consultants to deal with the economy, corruption and what else, the haze? How about replace all ministers with consultants and everybody else in Putrajaya with a consultant? And then maybe all the consultants can form a committee because why not? Then maybe the committee of consultants can decide if they wish to hire more consultants? Former Special Branch Deputy Director Abdul Hamid Badr has called on Rosma Manso to issue a denial herself instead of relying on her aide, Rizal Manso. This is in relation to Abdul Hamid's allegation that the Prime Minister's wife was present at a high-level meeting involving her husband and top officials. Rosma's aide has dismissed the claim as nonsense. Meanwhile, Abdul Hamid claimed that Rosma is concerned that he would reveal more about her and that is the reason she is using her aide to dispel the allegations. He also accused the Prime Minister's wife of troubling his officers. He said when Rosma went shopping, his officers were forced to escort her and wait for hours until she was done. 1MDB today said it regretted the remarks made by leading corporate figure Nazir Razak on the resignation of one of its advisers. The finance ministry-owned company said Nazir, who is CIMB Group chairperson, did not have all the information on the matter. Abdul Samad Alias yesterday revealed that he had resigned as a member of the 1MDB advisory board after his repeated requests for financial information about the company was ignored. Amno Youth Chief Hari Jamaluddin is confident nobody will be axed during the party's Supreme Council meeting tomorrow. He said this when asked about speculation that Amno Deputy President Mohidin Yassin and Vice President Mohammad Shafi Abdal and several other Supreme Council members, including Mukhris Mahathir and Ahmad Syed, will be axed tomorrow. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department Paul Lowe has said the Consultative Committee on Political Funding cannot inquire into 1MDB. Why not, you ask? Paul Lowe produced the terms of the committee, one of which read, Quote, it was not within the scope or function of this committee to conduct inquiries or investigations into 1MDB or any other ongoing case of public interest. PKR Vice President Norul Iza Anwar has denied promising government contracts to Swiss national Xavier Justo in exchange for stolen information on 1MDB, calling it a complete lie. Norul Iza said she has instructed her lawyers to commence legal action against New Straits Times and Britha Haryan for carrying reports on the allegation. And that's our fact sheet for today. Leave a comment, hit like and subscribe. I'm Brasad Michael, thanks for watching. Daniel, I got the best idea. We should start a committee. Uh, for what exactly? We'll leave that to the consultants. <laughs>